this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, click that subscribe ladies and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. Anyway, so I have been doing a couple of videos here on the card kits and this one we're going to do is the Christmas gifting kit. Now I've already done the video for love santa tag kit which i just put all the extras and the instructions and everything else in a little paper pumpkin box and then um next week we're going to be doing the christmas Wednesday card kit but today we're going to be doing this one and let me show you what's in the box first and so we got some red and green uh twine we've got shaded spruce and since these are card kits everything that you need to put the, the um kits together are in the box so you've got your ink you've also got a block now this is just one of their generic like paper pumpkin blocks but if you're a, a demonstrator or if you're new or anything get the the really nice stampin up blocks these are these are great they have nice grips on them on the side they're thick they come in all different sizes they're they're fantastic but if you're new these are just fine. And then we've got sentiments and it's just like uh, with love from our home to yours, Merry Christmas. So to and from all that good stuff is here. Then we've got like gift card holders in all kinds of different colors. And then we've got the tags themselves and the tags have cutouts like this one's a Christmas tree. One, This one here is a deer with antlers. You just pop them out. And then this one is a star. So those are cool. And then some more die cutouts here. Antlers with like a sentiment tag. Oh, you've got your glue dots. And these are fantastic. Normal glue dots are really thick. And sometimes it's not so great to put an embellishment on with them. But these are nice and thin and they're, thin and they're like a nice little glue dot. So hold on to these when you're done. And then dimensionals and some sentiment tags, more tags. Here's some more of these looks like they have like holly berries and some round sentiment tags. So I'm going to put together um, their cards first. And of course, here's all the instructions with the nice pictures and the full like um, instructions. Now, after I do theirs, I'm going to do some alternatives. Now, when I do alternatives, if you go on the back, look up the coordinating colors. So and this is really useful when you're putting alternatives together. So we got black mint macaroon real red shaded spruce and black foil which is cool so uh let me put a, put these together and i'll be right back and here's their cards and they're actually really cool so they're like little cards you can put on gifts or hang on the christmas tree you've got a little um like gift card holder or you could put money in there um you know i what i did differently is i did snail this down to the card itself because I don't like it flopping around. So um, so that's a, an alternative that I did right there. It's just snail that down. But these are really, really kind of cute. And you don't have to put just for you. You can put Merry Christmas on them all or whatever sentiment you want. But these are really nice. So, um, so these are theirs. So now I'm going to do some of my alternatives. So I'll be right back. I'm back. So I made six alternatives and they're all tags. So I stuck to the tag theme. All right, so here's my first one. So I took their um, tag here and instead of using one of the gift card holders is I used my silver foil and I have all my foil here. I kept all my pieces as in one of these um, uh, folders. And if I'm an Amazon affiliate, if you go to the description of my video, um, just click next to the title and I'll bring everything up, all my information. But there is a link. You can click on the link and get this foil. You can also click on the link to get these folders. And I'm an Amazon affiliate, so I'm totally checked out and safe to click on links. So I use the silver foil here. Then I use these red and green adhesive back pearls. They also have silver and gold on here. And I put those little pearls on. I used the Open Weave Evening Evergreen Ribbon and made this really nice ribbon. And then on the back, all you have to do is take a piece of paper and just snail it onto the top of a piece and then fussy cut around it and make the back. So this is real red. I used one of the gift tags and cut it up and made this background for the Merry Christmas. Used a star from the front 
and just stamp the to and from. So this is alternative number one. Here's alternative number two. And of course I took their tag base here, did their Merry Christmas like that. But this background is from Rustic Harvest and it's one of the back sheets to this. So this Rustic Harvest is awesome. I've used this a lot. Um, and then on the back, I used the Rustic Harvest as well. Took a couple of those trees that I didn't use, stamped the to and from, and of course used that evening, ever, <laughs> evening evergreen, say that three times fast with Invisalign in my mouth, uh, tag or ribbon here. And this one turned out really pretty. So this is alternative number two. Here's alternative number three. Oh, and I forgot to mention all the tags that I've done. I, I did the opening for the ribbon with Give It A Whirl. Give It A Whirl has this little die in there. And you want to just take the, the big one and line it up on your card, leaving the two other ones off and cut it right through. And it makes this nice hole there. So all of the tags I'm using, Give It A Whirl and giving it a bigger hole there. So this one I took there back. I took their uh, deer and put it on top of santa express i've got it here in my nice little folder and just dimensional that up i use the red ribbon it comes in that combo pack like that so that's the red ribbon and then on the front i use santa express and then i dimensional the tag and i did you know their tag here and the tuna from here so this is alternative number three here's alternative number four i took their tag and on the background, I use that glimmer paper and it comes in green and this uh, white that's really pretty and the gold. So I use that because that was really pretty. I also use the open weave evening evergreen ribbon. And then on the back, I used storybook gnomes. So it has this one piece that, that has all these little blue snowflakes. I thought that matched really well. And then I took these adhesive back stars and the pearl basic jewels and I put them together and then just use their tag. So this is alternative number four. Here's alternative number five. And what I did is I took the evening evergreen open re weave ribbon. And then right here in the back of the star, that is that glimmer paper. It's the, uh, the white one here. It's so pretty. I mean, I don't think the camera will do it any justice, but I'm uh, it's that paper there. And then, of course, like I said, all the tags, I use that one uh, die here from Give It A Whirl to make the hole bigger. But I also took on this particular one, since it had stars on it, I used the, I used a star die and I took the back of that money card and I made little stars here. And then I put the red and green adhesive backed pearls in the middle and that looked really pretty and then on the back i used santa express which is right here and then i took the back of that gift card here and made a background to the merry christmas and then i also um used this as well with the give it a whirl um star die and made stars here in both um the paper from here and then also the paper from the star, the actual star die and made little stars out of them and crisscrossed them. So this is alternative number five. Oh, and yeah, and I took <laughs> the star from here, another star, and I backed it with this. I just snailed it on and then cut around it. So it looked really pretty. So this is number five. Here's my last one and I took their tag and I used the green gr uh, glitter paper because this is absolutely beautiful, this green, and it works really well with the, the deer. And then this is the red ribbon from the green and red ribbon uh, combo pack. And then on the back, I took the deer and then I took sentiment backing that's on the uh, card that they did and I cut it off the tag and I put it up in the corners up here and I put the real red rhinestones and I used these gold holly leaves. It looks really cute. So I thought this was the cutest one. So this is number six. And here's all my alternatives. If you're interested, um, the used stamp set and all the extras, the ink and the little block, I'll put on my online store in about a week or so. So you can buy this whole thing with the case and everything. And I'm not sure it'll, how much I'm gonna put it up there for, but it'll be up there. So anyway, uh, if you like it, please subscribe and that'll do it for me.
Thanks. Bye.